Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. She needs support. Something solid. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. Tell me about it. I should have stayed back in Connecticut. This town doesn't want me here. Coming back, facing all that aggression, being covered in blood, possibly accused of murder. Did you really have to make it about you? I know this hasn't been easy for you either. This all sucks. I'm just so... This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. I do have my part of responsibility in this, but so do you. I know that. But you'd shut me out. Then suddenly you'd ambush me emotionally. Look, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm, I'm not trying to fight. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. There was no need to go for the throat, Anna. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know why I said it. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wasn't the one you really needed. You wanted someone like Nick, didn't you? Of course not. I chose you at the time, and I'd never take it back. That's... that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I... I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then, it ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. 
I know, the timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine investigation, me being hated by all of Basswood. That's... that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I... I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then... It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. I'm not Nick. Stop comparing us. He may have been your boyfriend, but Nick was my best friend since we were kids. This is hard for me too, you know? I, I know you didn't mean it like that, just... Calm down, Sam. If you start spiraling now, this isn't gonna end well. Just, he was my best friend. It still hurts. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. She's feeling guilty about what happened. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. It wasn't doomed. It's just like every relationship. It requires a lot of work from everyone involved. Whether people are ready to put in the work, well, that's different. I think we weren't. Not really. At least I wasn't. Good to see you realized that. Maybe. We were... we were younger. Different. It feels like a lifetime has passed. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and... whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. With what happened with Dennis, the police are going to start looking for me. I need to clear my name, and Nick's murder is the key to that. I thought you really cared about Nick, or... But no, Sam Higgs still can't think of anyone but himself. Nick was my friend, but that doesn't mean I'm not scared about what happens to me. I... I know that. Shit. I just... I want to hurt whoever hurt him so badly. I have to find out who did this, and I'll need your help. I have it, right? Yes. I need to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well, we'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. <laughs>